All right, so here's how you can use your hand to remember the deep external rotators of the hip. So the hardest part really with these muscles is just remembering the order they run in. So as a visual mnemonic, what you can do is hold your hand upside down like this, and your five fingers here will represent the five external rotators you can see if you're looking at these muscles from the posterior side. So if we imagine lying our hand across like this, our pinky finger with a P will represent the piriformis muscle, which is the most superior of these muscles. It runs from the anterior side of the sacrum, right here, so the anterior side, it then runs across and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur right here. So that's the pinky finger for piriformis. Our next finger represents the superior gemellus, which runs from the ischial spine here and then inserts on the medial border of the greater trochanter along with the tendon of the obturator internus and the inferior gemellus. So those three kind of come together and insert on the medial side of the greater trochanter. Our middle finger represents the obturator internus which is right here. So again, the obturator foramen, we can remember because we have this big O, right? We have this O in our pelvis. That O can remind you of the name obturator foramen. Well, the obturator internus covers the obturator foramen on the internal side. And what happens is it runs across through this groove and goes between the middle of the superior gemellus and the inferior gemellus. That's why when we think about the middle finger, it reminds us that this muscle goes in the middle between these other two. So the obturator internus runs across, does a 90 degree turn basically, and then inserts with the other gemellus muscles on the medial side of the greater trochanter. Our index finger with an I represents the inferior gemellus, which originates off the ischial tuberosity right here. And then of course it inserts with the other muscles, uh, the superior and the obturator internus on the medial side of the greater trochanter. Finally, for the hand, we have our thumb, which is obviously not as long or slender as other fingers because it represents the quadratus femoris, which is a boxy kind of muscle, rectangular muscle. So the thumb, which is a little more boxy, a little more rectangular, represents the quadratus femoris, which runs from the ischial tuberosity, kind of the anterior side of the ischial tuberosity. It then inserts on the intertrochanteric crest, which is the crest found between the two trochanters here. So it inserts right here on the intertrochanteric crest. It's a rectangular muscle, boxy, just kind of like your thumb is. Now there is one more muscle you need to remember, which is the obturator externus. So just like the internus, the obturator externus covers up the external part of the obturator foramen. The muscle then runs inferiorly and laterally to insert on the trochanteric fossa right here. So it's basically deep to the quadratus femoris, which is why you can't see it from the posterior view, and that's why we don't include it in the hand trick. But if you're looking at your hand, just remember there's another muscle that's hidden underneath your thumb. For the innervation, basically every muscle here gets their own named nerve, except the two gemellus muscles that steal their innervation from the muscle below them. So the piriformis is supplied by its own named nerve, the nerve to piriformis, the superior gemellus steals its innervation from the muscle below, so the superior gemellus and the obturator internus are both supplied by the nerve to obturator internus. The inferior gemellus, and you know, another gemellus muscle, it steals its innervation from the muscle below it, so it steals the innervation from the quadratus femoris, so these are both supplied by the nerve to quadratus femoris. To remember this, you can think of the phrase gem thief. So like our little guy here, he's moving down and stealing the supply from underneath him. So think about gem thief, and I'll remind you that the two gemellus muscles steal their innervation from the muscle below them. And finally, the obturator externus is supplied by the obturator nerve. If you remember from previous videos, remember all the muscles that are in line with the obturator foramen, so all these adductors in the medial compartment, they're all supplied by the obturator nerve, and same goes for the obturator externus. I hope that trick helped you out. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.